What's on the agenda today, Mom? What's what's on the agenda today? <laughs> On today's agenda. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Buckingham Palace. Fantastic, isn't it? And then over here really cool gold statue deal surrounded with four lions. Palace. Luna is not feeling very well. She has hay fever, as they call it here in the UK. We are on our way to the tube, back to the hotel, probably hit the cafe, maybe do like one thing, we're not sure, but we have to get to the Pancras station because we're going to Paris and we do not want to miss that train. Coffee break. Just kidding, I got a beer. So we're at the train station taking the Eurostar to Paris and the people here basically speak French and they don't speak English very well so it's hard to understand. We almost couldn't figure out which platform to get on for our train and you actually have to wait and then 15 minutes before your train is boarding they announce it on a screen and then everybody bum rushes to the platform. So. Just a little taste of what it's gonna be like being somewhere where people can't understand your language. Maybe I should have studied up on that Pimsleur a little more. Figured it out. We're getting on the train now. Stressed out? It's just scary. Going on different trains. Are we going to the right place? Not going on different trains. And we don't understand the language. They're like, we don't know what they're saying. They're gonna get mad. Not going to That's what Google translates for. Paris, three hour train ride. 
pretty comfortable. We got a four person seat set up on the train with a little table between us. So that was super duper comfortable. A little scared being in a place where they don't understand our language. We probably should have did some research, but oh well. It's gonna be an adventure and we are now on our way to find out how to get to our Airbnb. <laughs> and we don't know what to do. We tried to look at the map and we couldn't figure it out, so now we're gonna talk to information. Which means we don't have it figured it out. We just wanna make sure we do it the right way. We gotta do the right thing. so hot in the metro but I think we're going the right way we had to take the five line and now we're gonna get on the eight line and then we're gonna go meet the Airbnb host at their work and they're gonna walk us to the Airbnb or something with the Airbnb owner, got the key to the flat, and they work at a pizzeria, so we actually ate some pizza. Surprise, the sun has set. It's not quite fully dark, but the street lights are on. We're on a little five minute walk to the flat. Can't wait to get there, and just unload and relax. The traveling is pretty stressful. The subway was kind of sketchy, but soon we'll be able to relax. Are you guys ready to see the flat? Hold up. And we have a toaster oven, and a sink, and two burners, and here's the view out to the street. And what's in here? What's in here? And in here we have cups, cups, and other stuff. Over here we have kitchen supplies, and up here we have plates and bowls, and one cup. Plates, bowls, and... Oh yeah, guys. Okay, so this is our shoe holder. I have to put my shoes in. You can see. And this is a mirror. This is just for my table. This is our bedroom. Right? And then we have to check yourself out. And here's some glasses. There, those are not our glasses. <laughs> and there's this plant, and his name is Harrison. He gets thirsty, give so give him a, a glass, glass of water. water. It's hot. There's another bed. Two beds. The shower. There's no toilet. There's two beds. There's two beds. Come on, guys. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh, very small, huh? Yeah. You're such a dork. <laughs> Holy moly, this is a secret opener. Okay. Let's see, I'll do it. Be very careful. Over here is some kitchen supplies. Very secret. That's like the bat cave. And that's about it for a new Airbnb flat. I gotta go potty. See you guys later. This is pretty cool. The Airbnb has a skateboard. I don't know if I'm allowed to go ride this, but I am definitely going to go awesome. ride this. It's a little bit past one in the morning, but I'm feeling super restless, probably because I slept for three hours on the train here from London. So I'm looking for a bar to grab a drink and then go home and go to bed. But I'm on a skateboard, guys. Mm -hmm. 
So I found the bar that I wanted to go to. It's a jazz club, jazz every night, called La Surfery. But there's there's a problem. Check it out. Here's La Surfery. Pretty dope. We got this like wood theme with a surfing poster. But as you can see, they've gone surfing. Rioverte le Jude 23 ish. And I'm sure I pronounced that terribly, but I'm pretty sure it means they're under renovations. So we will not be catching any waves of jazz at La Surfery, which is a bummer. Oh well though, it was super fun cruising all the way here. And I seen at least two other bars that I could stop at to get a drink anyways. So I'm gonna backtrack to one of these bars, grab a drink, and then head back to the flat with, and conclude my Paris exploration at 1.30 in the morning.